All right, in this video we're going to be looking at the depletion mode MOSFET, often shortened to the D MOSFET. Now these ones are the least common, in fact hardly any exist anymore, all right, they're very unusual to find, but they do exist so we are going to cover them, and they are the most similar in operation to a JFET. So they lead in nicely from the change between a JFET to a DMOSFET and then through into an EMOSFET. So to begin with, let's have a look at the operation of these via a little block diagram. Now remember this is not a block diagram of the physical construction, but it's representative of how it works. Alright, so we're going to have some N, N, and P. We're going to have our insulated gate here. Drain and source, our substrate connection here, which is going to be made to our source. Alright, and let's see if we can go down a bit here. Gate, drain, and source. Now, the way this works is, and we have our insulating layer here, is that by applying a voltage. VGS, we create an electric field here, and depending on the polarity of that voltage, changes the amount of current that we can pass through here, the drain current. Alright, so applying VGS generates an electric field at the gate which controls current flow through the FET. All right. Now the easiest way I think of this is that when a negative voltage is applied, so I'm going to use blue for, okay, blue for negative and green for positive, when a negative voltage is applied, it pulls this channel, this part, this P component part here, this way, with a negative voltage, making that channel seem more squeezed, uh, less space with it, and therefore less current flows. Versus, if you apply a positive voltage, it pushes it away, opening up the channel, and allowing more current to flow. Now in reality, that's not how it works, but it's representative of what's happening. Right, from a block diagram point of view. Let's have a look at it in terms of biasing. Right, normally our device, in fact, let's go to the schematic symbol. We've got an N channel device. Alright, normally, like we saw with the FET, we have a reverse bias. VGS, okay, so negative VGS, while we have a positive VDS. Okay, so this is a forward bias VDS across here, and a negative or reverse bias, sorry, across VGS. So that's normally how we operate these devices. However, as I've just said, we can apply a positive voltage. The only reason we can do that is because of the change in physical construction with this insulating layer. If we do that to a JFET, we'll damage it. With a depletion mode MOSFET, we can actually do this and not damage it. So we can actually go reverse or forward bias here, whereas with the JFET, we could only reverse it. So if we have a look at our transconductance then, we get quite an interesting plot. So normally we're used to working down here in the negative VGS while it's drain current and we'd get something following Schockler's equation that looks something like this up until this point here which you remember was IDSS current from drain to source saturated okay, and there's the, the 
cutoff point? Well, with our D MOSFET, we can push this voltage further and actually follow up. So this is something new. And this is what we call the enhancement region. Whereas this is the depletion region. I'm sorry, we should refer to it as a mode rather than a region. Depletion mode. Alright, so this is nothing new from where we saw with the JFET. Alright, JFET did that, no problem. Okay, we haven't done anything new. What we have done new with our DMOSFET is this bit. Alright, so we can actually increase the current beyond IDSS by now playing, a, applying a positive voltage VGS. Alright, so we can get more current through the device. And if we have a look at the drain curves associated with that, they might look something like this. BDS versus ID, and we'd get something that. Alright, there's our drain curves. This line, for example, might be IDSS. So taking note of this point through here. And so this VGS might be uh, minus 2, minus 1, 1, and 2 volts. Alright, so these are our, remember, our VGS values in blue here. Alright, so positive values, which is new. So up here, I'm just going to use E for enhancement and D for depletion. So we can push more current through this. Now, I've already said that the D MOSFET is not the most common device, and let's have a look why. Alright, problems with this. How do we turn it off? To turn off the FET, we still need a negative voltage. No good. Alright, we don't want negative voltages. This point here, VGS equals 0 volts, so it is a normally on device. Alright, common that we want a normally off device. So it's still, we haven't won anything by using a DMOSFET in terms of two of the most useful things. The only thing we've gained is the ability to control higher currents. Right, so that's good, and realistically the gate current here is even smaller, but it's so insignificant that that's really not a huge difference to this. Right, they can switch a bit faster, and there's a few other, they can be made smaller, and there's a few other things which are nice about them, but realistically, the two big ones, to be able to turn the FET off, we still need a, a negative voltage, it's still a normally on device, um, but we can switch higher currents with it, so that's quite nice, it's an advantage over the JFET. Right, so these are our drain curves. Make sure that you can recreate these, understand the negative and positive in the enhancement and depletion mode. Look at the transconductance and apply what we've talked about so far to that as well. Alright.